Hello and welcome to the Beetle Channel. I think this is an emergency case now here because in this box we had 78L1 L2 stage larvas. I have written that I should check this in 9th of May but it's not good to wait so long because you see that the substrate is shrunken practically to half of the, no, not a little bit more than half of the original depth of the substrate. So this is a sign I have to look here what happened and to change the substrate. Wow, look what we see here. It's completely filled with the pellets of the larvas. There are so many, they have completely turned over the whole substrate into pellets and now this is a really emergency case. I have to change the substrate for them. And that's what I will do now. And I, of course, I will only keep a little bit of this substrate. Wow, look here, they come out all the, all the larvas of Xylotrupes Gideon Sumatrensis. So, yeah, let's put some in here. Wow, <laughs> 78, they have grown a lot, you see that? And it's time to change the substrate for them and that's exactly what I will do. I have prepared some boxes here where I just can put them in. Uh, but first I want to count them and put uh, the same amount of caterpillars in all of the three boxes that I have prepared for them. So first we have to count them here. It's a good box for that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15. So this 15 I put in my first box here and I hope that's enough for them. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that's, oh, here's oh, 15. This one, I have the next box for them ready. Here is it. So many. Uh, but it's fun to see how they grow, how they like this substrate. Now we go for the next one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, You can add some of this, this smells like home huh, for them, if you have these pellets for them. And now the next portion, now we had already 38, so there must be some more here. Yes, they are. And there are worms here also, you see that? Yeah, and a lot of these caterpillars. 8, 9, 10, 11. Let's have a look at them here. Already big, huh? So that's the next, the third box. Yeah. 
So they will find a way down here to the into the substrate. Now I'm go on counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This goes in the first box. Now we have twenty-five in this one. And then one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, and the two here, nine, ten. They go uh, to the second box. Here also we have twenty-five. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And these also go to the third box. Now we have 3 times 25, that's already 75, huh? probably have more than 78 that I've written on it, so let's see. That's 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81. 82, small one, Benjamin, huh? 82, 83, freshly molted, you see that with the orange head capsule, 82, and that's about it, I think. Wow, we have 82, so we can put two more in each box, one, two, one, two, one, two, and the Benjamin is extra, and these two, now we have one, two, one, two. Eighty-three from one female, that's a really nice result for one of the most loved caterpillar in the breeding scene. Here it is, our famous Xylot. Trupes Gideon, the biggest subspecies from Sumatra. Yes, this is a very young one here. So I think this should be enough food for them to finish their life cycle. Now we have to pay attention that the substrate is not too wet. So I will not cover them now. I just leave them like this because they dive down, but the substrate can dry out a little bit. And as you have seen, probably when I opened the box, there was a lot of humidity here on the lid of the box, so that's a sign that it's uh, probably too wet inside of this box. So I will let them just open. I don't have to be afraid that they run away, because uh, they don't want to go out now. But, of course, later when they are adults, they would just run away and be around my whole house and here in the Beetle Garage from where I greet you. Bye-bye. <laughs>